Good morning. Welcome back to my Learns with Tom Lee tutorials of A-level mathematics. And today we will continue the parametric equation. Chapter 8, section 8.3, the curve sketching. We try to sketch the curve of a parametric equation because sometimes most of the parametric curves do not result in the curves you will recognize. And so it's not easy to sketch it out. In this case, you can plot any parametric curve by substituting the values of the parametric itself into each of the equation. That's mean into the equation of x and the equation of y. Let's take an example. Draw the curve given by the parametric equation x equal to 3 cosine t plus 4 and y equal to 2 sine t when t is from 0 to 2 pi. You draw a table like this, and you put the values of t from 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi, and to 2 pi. You substitute the values of t equal to 0 into the equation of x. That means into x equal to 3 cosine t plus 4. You get the x values of 7, 6.12, 4, 1.88, 1, 1 1.88, 4, 6.12, and 7. The values of x is never less than 0 in here from 0 to 2 pi. And you substitute the values of t into the y equation as well. And you got the y values of 0, 1.412, 1 1.410, minus 1.41, minus 2, minus 1.41, and 0. So you get these two pairs of values, 7 and 0, 7 and 0, you've got this point. x is equal to 7 and y equal to 0, and x equal to 7, y equal to 0, x equal to 1, y equal to 0, you've got this point as well. So you put every point into here, you get all the point and you sketch a curve to join this one together. This is an equation of a ellipse. That means this pair of parametric equation is an equation of an ellipse. Example 2. You draw the curve given by the parametric equation x equal to 2t, y equal to t squared. For t from minus 1 to 5. You get t from minus 1, 0, until this is equal to 5. Substitute this value into the x and into the y you get a pair of values of x, y, minus 2 and 1. So you get minus 2 and 1. And then you get 0 and 0, this point, and every other point until you get 10 and 2.5 here. 10 and 2.5. You join all these points together, you get a curve of this. This is the curve of these two parametric equations. After these two examples, we got the exercise question number three. You got a parametric equation like this. And then you put the point in the table. Then you sketch the graph. I will teach you how to sketch this graph by hand and also using Microsoft Excel. Uh, if you put every values into Microsoft Excel and use the Microsoft Excel post graph function, this is an easier way to see your graph in a computer software. And also question number four, you get a pair of parametric equations like this, and then you calculate all the values in this table, and then you plot the graph by hand or by Microsoft Excel. Question number five, you also have a parametric pair equation like this, and you want to find the Cartesian equation, y equal to fx, and then sketch the curve on the appropriate domain. The domain is t for minus two to three. And then the challenge question here, this challenge question, you have to do it by Excel because the value is very clumsy to calculate out by hand. So you better using Excel to plot the graph. It's more easier to plot the graph. If you are ready, prepare your pen, pencil, Microsoft Excel software, and some paper. We can do the exercise from question three to question six. Good luck. Question number three, a curve is given by the parametric equation x equal to 2t, y equal to 5 over t, and t is not equal to 0. Copy and complete the table and draw a graph of the curve for t is from minus 5 to 5. 
you draw a table like this, you get t, x equal to 2t, y equal to 5 over t, when t is equal to minus 5 to 5. You separate t by one unit, so minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, until 5. When t is equal to minus 5, you substitute minus 5 into 2t, you got minus 10. t equal to minus 5, you got y equal to 5 over minus 5 is minus 1, and etc. Minus 4, minus 8, minus 1.25, minus 3, so it's be minus 6, and minus 5 over 3. Minus 2, you got minus 4 for x, and minus 5 over 2 for y. Minus 1, you got minus 2 for x, and then it's minus 5 for y. Minus 0.5. You got minus 1 and minus 10. Pawn 5, you got 1 and 10. And then etc. You got 2 here, 5 here, you got 4 here, 6 here, 8 here, and 10 here. And then for the y value, you got 5 over 2, and 5 over 3, 5 over 4, and then of course it's 5 over 5 is 1. You got all these pair of pawn minus x equal to minus 10, y equal to minus 1. And you sketch the table like this from 0 to 10. And also for the negative side is from negative 1 to negative 10 here. And the x value is from minus 10 to 10. We include all these values here. For minus 10 to 10 is the x domain. Minus 10 to 10 is the y range here. So we've got all this spawn, minus 10, minus 1. That means it's x is minus 10, y equal to minus 1 here. When x equal to minus 1, y equal to minus 10. When x equal to minus 1 here, y equal to minus 10 here. When x equal to minus 8, y equal to minus 1.25, minus 8 here, minus 1.25, around here. We got all this pawn, x equal to 10, y equal to 1. The pawn is in here. When x equal to 1, y equal to 10. When x equal to 1, y equal to 10. When x equal to minus 2, y equal to minus 5. When x equal to minus 2, x equal to minus 5 here. So you, you get a curve like this. It's never touched, right? So you get the curve in the negative parts of the x and the positive parts of the x as well. Okay, I will do this one more time in uh, Microsoft Excel and then you can see the Microsoft Excel will sketch the graph like this for you. This is question number three. We do this in Excel. We have the parametric equation x equal to 2t and y equal to 5 over t. We got the x domain is not equal to zero. We do it from minus 5, minus 4.5 to 5. And here we put in into an equation just equal to this is t multiplied by 2 and got minus 10. We pull this down and we got all the values from minus 5 to 10. Of course, we don't have the values of 0 here because when t is going to 0, the y will be undefined. So in here, we got the y value as well equal to 5 divided by t. We got negative 1. And then we pull down to get all the values together from minus 1 to minus 10 and from 10 to 1. So we highlight these two sections. We insert the scatter graph with the line on it. So we highlight these two set of data. Okay, we go to the insert menu here and we press on the char here. We get the curve like this. We click OK. So we have uh, put the curve of this equation. Of course, it's from these two values because we don't have a value of zero. So the line will go up 
to infinitive, and this one is go down to infinitive. It never touch zero point here because when t is equal to zero, y is undefined. Question number four: A curve is given by the parametric equation x equal to t square, y equal to t crib over five. Copy and complete the table and draw a graph of the curve. T is from minus four to four. We get a table like this. T is from minus four, minus three until this is four. And x equal to t square, y equal to t squared over five. So t square is sixteen. T squared over five is minus twelve point eight. And you got minus three. X equal nine. And y equal negative five point four. T equal minus two. X equal four. And y equal is minus one point six. T equal minus one. X equal one. And y is equal to minus point two. When t is equal zero, x equal zero, and this one is zero for y as well. And then the positive size is one, four, nine, and sixteen as well. For the y, this size is t equal to the positive, so y is also equal to positive. Just the size is different, so it's point two. One point six, five point four, and twelve point eight. The similar with this one, right? Just the negative one and the positive one. So you can sketch a graph by these two points: sixteen x equal sixteen, y equal to negative twelve point eight or positive twelve point eight. So when x equals sixteen here, so you've got y equal to twelve point eight. I think the point. And here, twelve point eight, x equal to sixteen. This is twelve point eight, and also sixteen minus twelve point eight. So at the bottom, sixteen minus twelve point eight, and then the other point is this equal to nine is five point four, positive and negative. When x equal nine, y equal positive four point five or negative four point five. When x equal nine here, x equal four point five point four positive. I think is here, and then also is negative. Four is here. So you got the curve like this going out like this, negative and the positive side. The curve is going low like this, so I will do this one more time in Excel, so you can see the the Excel curve can polish more smoothly. If you get more pawn in this,、uh, the separate units may not be one unit. You can make it to pawn five units, and you get more pawn on this line, so you can sketch more smoothly. But by hand, if you put too much separation here. You get a lot of calculations, so we do it by computer. This is easier. In here is question number four. We do it by Excel. We got x equal to t square and y equal to t squared over five, and t is from minus four to four. Is the domain of t in the question number four? So it's from minus four, minus three point five to four. We put the equation in here. It's equal to the Power of t, the power of two. So got value sixteen, and this one we equal to the power of this one t three over by five. It's got minus twelve point eight. We copy these two value down. And we got a series of point x and y. We highlight these two series of data. We do it again. We go to insert and then insert a char. We use this char and click OK. We got this char. Of course, if we want to have a line to join this point point together, we change the type to this one, and then we got a path of this parametric equation. 
Equation number five. The curve C has the parametric equation x equal to three minus t and y equal to t square minus two. t is for minus two to three. A part we have to find a Cartesian equation of C in the form of y equal to f x. So we got x equal to three minus t. And then minus t is equal to x minus 3. So t is equal to 3 minus x. We got y equal to t squared minus 2. So we substitute this t equal to 3 minus x into this t here. We get 3 minus x to the square minus 2. And then we got y equal to 9 minus 6x plus x squared minus 2. You got y equal to x squared minus 6x plus 7. That is the equation of fx in this form. What about the domains of this fx? The domains of this fx is when t is equal to minus 2, x is equal to 5. And when t is equal to 3, x is equal to 0. That means x is from 5 to 0. So the domain of this fx is from 0 to 5. And the range of this fx is that when you put t equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3 of the t value here. You got the y values is equal to 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 2, and 7. So the y value is from the negative 2 to positive 7. The y values is from negative 2 to positive 7 here. The domains of the fx is from 0 to 5, and the range of fx is from minus 2 to 7. In part B, we sketch the curve C on the appropriate domain. We draw a table like this, and x equal to 3 minus t, y equal to t squared minus 2. We have t from minus 2 to 3, so we have x from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. And for the y value, you got 2 minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 2, and when t is equal to 3 squared, so it's, this one should be 7 here. So we plot the graph of this. y x equal 5, y equal 2. x equal 5 here, y equal 2 here. x equal 4, y equal minus 1, minus 1 here. x equal 3, y equal minus 2. x equal 3, y equal minus 2 here x equal 2, y equal minus 1. x equal 2, y equal minus 1. x equal 1, y equal 2. x equal 1, y equal 2. Get up here. x equal 0, y equal 7. So we'll get all the points here. If we draw a line here, sketch the graph. This is the graph of the parametric equation x equal to 3 minus t and y equal to t squared minus 2. I will also use Excel to spot this graph for you. You can also plot a curve like this and the separation, you can make the variation from 1 unit to 0.5 or 0.2 unit and you can sketch the curve more smoothly. Question number 5, we have x equal to 3 minus t and y equal to t squared minus 2 and the t is for minus 2 to 3. We use 0.5 for 1 unit of separation. Input the equation equal to 3 minus t here. Plus is 5 and equal to the powers of this t by 2 minus 2 because 2 here. We copy these two values down and the equations all up. A series of point x, y for this parametric equation. So we highlight these two things here. 
we go back to the insert tab and insert a chart to get the charts is a line chart here we click ok we have got a line chart is from the domains of t the t is from minus two to three the x is from zero to five and y is from seven to minus two question number six is a challenge question sketch the curve given by the parametric equation on the given domain of t x equal to 90 over 1 plus t cube and y equal to 90 square over 1 plus t squared and t is never equal to minus 1 because if t is equal to minus 1 this one is equal to undefined and also y is equal to undefined so comment on the behaviors of the curve as the t approach minus 1 from the positive direction and from the negative direction as well so we put a table like this we from the negative direction t is equal to minus 2 minus 1.5 minus 1.1 this is uh, t is 10 to minus 1 from the negative direction and this is the t 10 to negative 1 from the positive direction the other way around you got the values you can see this from this table from the negative direction to minus 1 you can this is positive x and negative y until here positive x is going up and positive negative y is going more negative negative y it is from the negative direction and from the positive direction the value is very small here and you go up and you go to zero and then the value is going down minus 5.1 4 and minus 29.9 and become very large in the negative values and y is very large in the positive value so the x y direction is different so in here i won't sketch the graph by hand because it's a very difficult plot graph by hand so i will do it in excel you can see how we do it in excel and we will comment on if it's from the positive direction here it's from the positive direction the x values is uh, negative here then the y value is positive i think we have to cut it from zero to negative one and from positive infinity to zero we cut it into two parts because we have two parts in here this is one part here this is one part here and this is one part here that's three parts all together for the negative part is from negative infinity to negative one i mean the t value and the positive part is from positive infinity of t to zero and then from negative 0 0.1 to negative 1 is this is the the other part so in our curve we have three parts of curve this part this part and this part as well it's very difficult to see if we just get this fuse value here we have to sketch it in a more complicated table a table of a lot of data and you can sketch the graph Finally, question number six is a challenge question. We have x equal to 90 over 1 plus t cube and y equal to 90 square over 1 plus t cube. I do it from the negative part to the negative 1 because t is never equal to negative 1. When t is equal to negative 1, x and y is undefined. So t is from negative infinity 10 to negative 1. We got negative 3, negative 2 and negative 1.1 we got this set of value here and the other is from minus 0.1 to minus 0.9 it's on the positive size 10 to t equal to negative 1 we got the x value is negative and the y value is positive and the third part is that the values of t is equal to 0 to infinity so it's from infinity 10 to 0 we got the value is from here so we have three parts of this graph so let's see we put all three graphs we put all three parts of this graph we highlight all of it and we go to insert and we go to char here we got this char and click ok we have this char here i maximize it. so there's three parts of here so um we got three parts in here the light curve is connect together if we have a curve connect together the graph will be go to here and turn the loop and then going down here so from the if 
t is 10 to negative 1 from the negative infinity to negative 1, we can get a x values of positive and y values of negative. What this means is that so y is negative and x is positive. This one x is positive, y is negative to infinity. So it's from negative. So if t is from negative infinity to negative 1, we got the curve is in the fourth quadrant. This part here, you can see this t is from negative 6.1 to negative 1, x is negative, and y is positive. It's this part here. So we got if the um, t is 10 to negative 1 from the positive side, we got the curve in the second quadrant. If from the negative side, we got the curve is from the fourth quadrant. And if t is greater than 0, you can see here, if t is greater than 0, we got the loop of here. Okay, this is the values of the x, y curve if t is greater than 0 to infinity. If t is 10 to infinity, x and y is 10 to 0. But we got a loop here for the t is greater than 0. This is how we sketch the curve of this challenge question. This is very hard to sketch it if you are using a table and calculate by hand. So we make use of Excel to do this. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtong929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。